Hi and welcome to Kitty Plays Morrowind. This is Nighty, the Black Panther Kitty, and I'll be the host for this episode. Last time we went to Ghostgate, where the last part of our pilgr pilgrimage of the Seven Graces will be taking place. And honestly, I don't know which of these two exits of Ghostgate, so we're standing in the middle of Ghostgate, which of the two exits actually leads inside the ghost fence. I think I saved myself looking inside, so I'm going to try this door. So let's just hit the switch and head through the gate. This looks good because we're going uphill and there is a first red. Let me show you that I don't have enough magicka to do a simple spark 2 spell, which is the stronger version of our spark spell. I think I took the wrong potion. Yes, this was fortify willpower. Oh, of course. Let me instead hit the button again without disturbing the rat and just head back through ghost gate and just rest up to get our magicka restored because of course us being a mage means we are mainly fighting with magic. So I think I can rest up with these nice people here. Hello there. Owned, owned, owned. Thought so. But maybe we can. No, we can't rest here. Enemies are nearby. So I'm going to just try and hoping that I find a nice spot. If not, I'm going to actually show you the temple inside the ghost gate first. Or simply do this. Mesh my dagger at the enemy, which as you can see, my skill increased to 21, which means I have a very, very weak skill of long blade. <clears throat> okay. I am a very, very bad fighter, which is, I think, okay for a mage. Let's head inside the temple and see if we can actually rest inside one of the two towers, which are aptly named the Tower of Dusk and the Tower of Dawn. Let us see. Hello there. Oh, there. This looks like a bar. Maybe, maybe they have beds that we can rent. Hello there. We rent beds. <coughs> Sorry. We rent beds! I have some goods for barter. What do you want? Hmm. I think this Mickey Mouse voice is not a good idea. I want to have a bed, please. Yes, we have one available. Only one bed available. Mm, what a coincidence. It's ten gold for the rest of the day. Do you want it? Well, ten gold? Yes, of course. <clears throat> the bed is yours. Enjoy your stay. Well, I hope I don't break it. She, she did... She actually didn't tell me where it is. I guess it's upstairs. Oh, that's Masera. not so bad looking. I think this is the glass armor. Outland. That the mod, what do you want? the big package of mods changed the looks of. But there is no bed up here, so I paid ten septims for a bed. And yeah. <clears throat> Let's There's... hear it. Yes, this is where I need to go. Perfect. Permitted, it says. Okay, then before we go to sleep, let me real quick check the stream chat. Because I am streaming again while I record this episode. And yes, the people in the stream chat, they agree with me. Cliff races are a real pain. And also fighting with a dagger while being a mage is seems to be a real pain. I mean, I'm playing a mage for the first time here. And all the spellcrafting stuff is be, is be, will be pretty new to me, or is actually a bit pretty new to me. Because I, in this game, I always played like the typical brute. Yes, that's the exit. <clears throat> okay, so we are all rested and ready to drop a quick save and head inside to finally complete the pilgrimage. 
Uh, I don't run back, so I'm going to real quick check the book. What do we need? A soul gem. Soul gem or soul gem, that's the question. I guess I can... I can buy one here at the temple. See? <clears throat> I didn't want to go to the shrine and head to head back again. So, um, that's the temple here. Normally, in the other games, I tend to... So, I always play Khajiit, because of course I do. And um, I always tend to play the sneaky type. Uh, well, he, they have spells, but they sell... That's weird. Outlander. What do you mm -hmm. want? That's not what I want. Yes, Outlander. Oh, come on, don't, don't tell me I need to head back to the Mages Guild just to... <laughs> I don't want to head back again. I just arrived here. I just want a soul yes, gem. Yes, Outlander? Please. Oh. Okay. <sighs> yeah, this game has a lot of walking around in it. These are just guards. Oh, this one has a name. No. Yes, I'm on pilgrimage here. Huh. Didn't say where I can get the soul gem. Usually they are sold pretty close to... Barter. I don't know if that was what the same about? person, but I'm going to check both of them real quick. Go on about your business. So services acting for the services so we have a hostel I or we use that oh. seems like we won't get a soul gem in here unless of course we steal it and I'm not someone who's going to steal that also I getting a bit frustrated with the thought of having to run all the way back to Balmora just to get a soul gem let me real quick take a look at the map. It is at least to the Legion Fort. <sighs> Please, I just want a soul gem. I don't know how to pronounce that word. The name. Is it buoyant or something? Because there is buoyancy or however you pronounce that word. Uh, which basically says how good something floats. But I don't know how to pronounce that word. Okay, I'm going to bite the sour apple as a German idiom translates to. And head all the way back. Okay, so here we are back at, in front of the ghost gate. The weather has cleared up we have a very nice view of everything I actually tried this a few times for more than 30 hours uh, 30 minutes before I was standing here again this time with the soul gem and now we're going in finally going inside let me drop a quick save I don't want to do all of this again you know and go off the record again so let's head inside and finally finish the quest Go into the ghost fence. This red is still alive. I actually wanted to say the red corpse is still there, but no, it is alive red, and I'm going to use, try using the dagger to no success. This red must be very strong. Uh, yeah. Why? because it's blighted. So, you know what? I'm not fleeing. Where I come from, everyone walks backwards. Props to those who recognize the song that I was mentioning, as it's a German song. I guess only people from Germany might get it. Yeah. I don't want to. I don't want people to feel threatened. I'm the right tower. This should be the one where they sell. That's weird. 
I'm stopping talking because I'm too much concentrated on the game and this is kind of weird. Stopping talking in the middle of the sentence. Where they sell potions is what I wanted to say. And they sell the bad stuff, which is just, which is just good enough for me. Cheap. Perfect. Let's try bartering a little bit. 170. Yes, thank you. Uh, and we don't have enough money for the bed, but I think you should also be able to take a few things off of me. For example, this, which is rather expensive. Give me a little, a little bit. Of, let's have a little extra charge. There we go. And on to the other side, so now we have the money too. Let's just head through this sacrificial pit. I think the people from the temple won't, uh, won't mind. Bye bye, Alex. Someone on Twitch needs to head out. And of course we are being polite, aren't we? Let me get behind the counter to talk to you and to rent this bed. I want that bed, and I'm not going to Please have a look around. go through the Mickey Mouse conversation with you. I'm still learning to do voices, so trying to do it when I'm uh, on the streams. But I'm still learning. So now I have a few oh, more I of these devotions. And... Was it downstairs or just? I think it was just on the other on the other end. Yep, that's the exit. Oh, the door is still open. This is because the cell was not loaded. So cell is, is the, what Minecraft calls a chunk, and I'm basically used to Minecraft speak now. And the rat is back. Hello, rat. Being back. Nice of you. Let me spark you again and increase my destruction skill. It's still the same blighted red. Uh, red. And I, let me check the book. It should say something about where. Just northeast of the ghost gates. And this thing, this uh, lava thing that I didn't know the name, it's the Foyada Mama, Mamea. Just to the northeast, which is this direction, okay? Because I know it is pretty close to to the coast coast fence. You don't need to venture f far into the Red Mountain region, which is very very dangerous. Basically, according to the lore, I should not even be here. And these might be blighted also. to the dagger again, which is really, really bad. Oh my god. Okay, I know the other one is nearly dead. So... Go away, I don't want to catch a disease from you. It's a regular cliff racer. I'm a bit lucky. was where I needed to go. Like, I think this was some kind of road which leads to the cave that I need to be. But I don't fully remember. Yeah, that's not, not a cave, it's just the shrine in here. But that's, that's where you want to be. This is the last shrine, which we're going to activate now. We're going to donate our soul gem and ask for a blessing. Thank you for your pride, Lord Vivek. I shall not doubt myself, or my people, or my gods, and shall insist upon them and my ancient rights. So, ladies and gentlemen, we have done it. 
We have finished the pilgrimage of the seven graces and to be honest I want to head out of here as soon as possible so I'm going to real quick run out of here because this is really un making me uncomfortable. This red ash storm with all those diseases inside. No, 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 this is not where we want to be. Let's head back to the temple in Balmora and ask for another quest there. Okay, we're actually being attacked. The enemies are not just nearby, they are attacking us. To be honest, the growls of pain in the game um, they don't always sound like growls of pain to me. <laughs> oh, magic has recharged. This would it sleep, it seems. I need to find a bed. And this is now, now this place is looking real nice. So this is the Foyada Mamaya. I always read the E like a C. I always said Foyada Mamaka. Because I thought this, honestly thought this was a C. But it is an E. And I guess this is meant to mimic Spanish. And since I'm learning Spanish on Duolingo, um, since um, the uh, COVID isolation, I mean, you gotta do something, right? Uh, I'm kind of spotting it everywhere. Let's try and go around these enemies. I want to get around fights if I can. And these cliff races are really, really annoying. Can I? No, still. Still enemies nearby. Yeah, I can, I can actually see them up there. But maybe if I this side, but also, no, I can't, can't see, there is a Nyx sound, see, these, these I can one hit with my new magic, if I don't fail, should have waited for a bit for my fatigue to be restored, I can't rest, there are too many enemies, and there is the Famous cliff racer, Bane of the Foyada Mameya. Also, bearer of racer plumes, which are worth 20 septims each. Come on. Let me just do this and wait. Do I have a wrist or fatigue? Yes. As you can see, now my chance of hitting them is greatly increased. Should find a better weapon. Yep. Like a staff with lots of charges of some magic spell, maybe? Those are also very hard to ch recharge with soul gems. No. I saw the cliff racer, but I had to try it anyway. So I just want to rest. There we go. can use our spark spell again if we encounter an enemy. So I'm not going to use the sneaky tip. Also we are I, I didn't check what the blessing was. So the blessing actually is shield 25 pi pines. 25 pints of shield. 
Now, if that would be in a cider, I would be happy. 25 pints of cider. Mm. But, of course, it's 25 points of shield. And I think one point of shield is like 1% damage shielded away where do you come from no this is the trouble with projectile spells they are slow and now my magic is gone and this is how long my character took to take off his dagger. Honestly, I don't know if I should go this way or that way. I think that way is correct. We're still in fight mode because there is another one of our lovely friends here. The Cliff Racers! Hello Cliff Racer! It's been very long since we last seen one. These are the most scarcely found uh, enemies in this game. Like you, you, you can count yourself really lucky if you ever encounter one of these. And as you see, if you kill them, you're even luckier. This is why their plumes are so highly priced. I'm really confused as to where to go. <laughs> Honestly, I confused myself. Okay, we are heading south and we are healing again. So this little, hello little friend, a diseased scrib. Luckily we're not fighting it. Because we might catch the disease. So our little pilgrimage took us ages, months, weeks, I don't know. But I can see in the fog of the distance, I can see the bridge. Not the one of Casa Doom. But the bridge leading to the Dwarven Ruins. Look at that. Three of those. I should have done a spark spell on each of them. And then just finish them off with that. Although this is nearly broken. I'm going to... So yes, this is, I'm doing this on purpose because to get them into a position where I can actually hit them better. I think I was just in a position where I could not hit them. And I'm going to just do take all and leave the corpses there as a little experiment to see if they will then respawn slower. This means he's close enough. Doing next to no damage, and my dagger is really broken. This was. We're not that good at our hand to hand. Even worse than that. Hmm. There's no way we can repair this. We're going to try a different strategy. Let me let me drop a quick save and then run to the city and just heal while doing so. The thing is, I'm taking more damage now that they're attacking from behind. And that's due to a patch slide. Uh, but as you can hear, they're attacking me 
loads of times and they're being rather unsuccessful loads of times also. This is why I'm thinking that I might be able to just escape to the city like the cowardly kitty that I am. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty close to the fort and I hope that the guards will actually attack the cliff racer, but I could also just enter a building, heal up and then, then attack it. Anyway, are we already at the fort? one of the two athletics or acrobatics was responsible for me being able to run up steep hills but I think the one that you increase by jumping which would be acrobatics then is for running up steep hills so let's see if the NPCs will actually help me especially the guards and in later games the guards will attack hostile creatures. Yeah, of course, this also trains the unarmored skill, so it is not in vain doing this. But it's still not the best thing to do. Hmm. Yes, yes, the guards did attack him. Thank you so much. Really, you don't know what what service you did to me. Let's hear it. Thank you, guard. Without a name. <sighs> so, again, let's get to the temple. And tell them of our success in the pilgrimage. Let's skip the embarrassing parts, though. Like me trying to do... Me forgetting the soul gem, for example. That's very embarrassing. Yeah, let's let's leave that out. And hello, low frame rate. I don't know what it is in Balmora. Just passing through, thank you. There we go, there's the temple, our goal. The place of our dreams. <laughs> okay, so let's head inside. And proudly tell the temple steward of our success. Hello there. Mm, I think that was the wrong person. I think it was her. Hello, Feldrello. No, I've been not lax in my duties. I actually finished that pilgrimage you told me to do. Before I give you other duties, you should prove your faith by making the pilgrimages of the Seven Graces. Yeah, that's why I'm here. I finished those pilgrimages. You have been given a copy of the Pilgrim's Path. But I, I just finish the... Did yes, I forget Outlander? something? Did I forget something? Is there one pilgrimage that I missed? So I'm pretty sure we've been at the fields of Kumu. Let me real quick... Let's, I need to click and close. Let me quick pull up the journal. Um, options. Can I this no I can't see what I did so yeah, these are the I made the pilgrimage to the fields of Kumu this is one pilgrimage to stop the moon to palace of Vivek three the um, grace of courtesy for Four, 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 four. Let's 
seems like I'm missing one, yes. Grace of Valor, Grace of Pride. So, you are missing one pilgrimage. Really? So, the Fields of Kumu, the Shrine of Daring that was in the Temple District. So, the Fields, fields of Kumu to stop the moon. Now, this is this is the most uh, annoying thing. Now, you have to cross-references, uh, cross-references, these entries. So, Fields of Kumu, stop the moon, Palace of Vivek. Now I have to, all the time I need to open and close the, the palace. I think this, yeah, in, in the Gnesis Temple, the Shrine of Justice. This is the one that I tried to do when I, when I went to Cold Cave, actually. And, um, um yeah, I didn't have the cure common disease potion, I guess. But it is pretty easy to get to Gnesis. We can use the Silk Strider. Let's head to the Palace of Gnesis, do the last pilgrimage, and head back. And I'm determined to finish the pilgrimages of the Seven Graces. I thought it was one, like all of these shrines were I one pilgrimage. Up, but make it quick. The pilgrimages of the Seven Graces. Let's finish these in this episode. Even if it means this episode will be longer than normal. But at least then we'll have a nice point to start off with. Okay, hi. I want to travel. In order to get to Gnesis, I need to first get to Saidanin. Which is on the other hand uh, on the other side of the map. Why walk when you can ride? And then to Gnesis. As you can see, it's loading very very long because where would you these like to go? Cells, these areas were not preloaded. So, cure common disease. This is what I want to buy at the temple and then offer at the shrine. Okay. So, I did try clicking the shrine lots of times and the game didn't tell me that I was missing the potion. That's a bit annoying, actually. Because I was sure that clicking this shrine was the right thing to do, but I actually just mixed up two shrines. I had the the offering for the shrine at the um, at the coal cave. I'm looking for someone to sell potions. Yeah, I know the ordinators don't; they just call me scum. Um, but I went to the shrine of the mask. Now I want the right offering. Hello. You don't You don't offer anything, do you? Let's see a cure common disease. There we go. A single one. A single And in return I'm going to offer you these racer plumes. Outrageous. These two rages, really. you know, just take, take them all. Just take, just buy all of that. And give me money for, for what I'm offering you. Thank you. And my mercantile skill increased to seven. So this is where we want to go up here the mask and offer the potion. Now it asks me if I want to donate the potion. Thank you for your justice, Lord Vivek. I shall neither be cruel nor arbitrary, for fair dealing earns the love, trust, and respect of our people. Now back to Balmora <coughs> and again report the progress. If you want something, now's the time to talk. 
Luckily, this is rather easy as there is the Siltstrider service. Wait, no, there isn't. Well, there is the Siltstrider service, but I now realize that I, I sold him everything, right? I should have 24 gold, yeah. I don't know if this is enough, but if it isn't, we need to earn a little bit of gold in Sedani. It's way less than enough. Okay, there is this one thing that we, we could make a do. special trip. Just first for of you. all, we could same low room. price. Why? Because there's quests there, and quests might earn money. Secondly, we have this ring of Hargoth from the very beginning, which we never used. It's a healing ring, and I always forget that I have it. So honestly, I can just sell it. Let's head to the Mage's Guild and sell that ring. Training for the right price. Yeah, I'm, I'm a bit short of money right now. So let us see who is the correct person. Hmm. We have a quest to go to Hulin's hut. How fare thee, friend? From Edwina Albert. No, I want to barter, please. Trapdoor. Is there nobody here who wants to buy something? No. Probably nothing. No. How about you? No. Really? Nobody here in our room is selling or buying stuff. There we go. That's... He does buy rings. Really. I mean, I could sell these, but I do want to put them into a shelf, so... What about Hulin's hut in Margan? Where is Margan? So it seems like we actually need, before we can hand in the quests, we either need to walk back to Balmora or Margan is near here and we're going to go to that hut. Yep, I can't even go there. The blue well, there is a pawnbroker here, so I'm actually going to head up to the pawnbroker because I don't want to... I want to hand in that quest now. Mm -hmm. I think the pawnbroker was up here. The bookseller, and I think yes, there is the book. I've got better things to do, so if you don't mind, let's move. Hello, I'm going to sell you something. Pretty worthless. Another ring. Well, let's hope that this is enough what for traveling. Using the major skill travel might be cheaper. Also, let's first. Well, actually, the pawnbroker asked me if I could do some. Okay, work. Outlander, but make it quick. You know what? I'm going to end the episode here. And in the next episode, we will earn a little bit of money in order to be able to travel back to Balmora and hand in that quest. We should have done something to earn money way, way earlier, anyhow. So, for now, I'm going to bid you farewell, and I'm going to switch over to the dice roll so you know how long to wait until the next episode. Bye-bye!